Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shane. Before the tutorial, I just want to let you know I'm working on the Warner Brothers Studio you requested. There's a ton of work and because I don't want to rush into things, so this might take a while. But I promise you won't be disappointed. This entire build is CC free. I even created some artwork to make my build look more authentic. Just so you wait. So today I'm just going to do a quick tutorial and teach you how to build a golf cart we see on the screen. This took me a while to figure out and I did use the tool mod, however you do not need to use any CC or mods on your end as I have already pre-tilted everything that needs to be tilted and put them in a box for you guys. An assembly kit if you will. This kit includes everything you will need for this customized golf cart. So for you it's less like building a cart but more like assembling one. So let's get started. Okay, so the must-have pack is the Eco Lifestyle pack because we need the tires. And it'd be better if you also have cats and dogs, jungle adventure, get to work, and get together. I believe I also use like two or three other packs, but they're purely decorative. You can either find a replacement or not to use them at all. To download this assembly kit, search hashtag Shane's Golf Cart 123 Kit. I didn't save it as a room, I saved it as a 20 by 15 lot, as I also want to include the roofs. If you only want the tires and do it your own way, search hashtag Shane's 8 tires 888. It has 8 tires for each size and each side. However, if you're feeling extremely lazy today and you don't feel like building anything, search hashtag Shane's Golf Cart 111. But where's the fun in that? Okay, before we start, always remember to turn on BB.MoveObjects first. Now let's open the box and start assembling. First we need to build two boxes stacked on each other. Make sure the boxes are no larger than 3x3. Three three. Next, delete the box on the bottom. Now you can see the second story box is floating. Let's click on it and drag it down. Remember not to drag it too low and don't let it touch the ground. If you have no idea how low you need to make, just grab a tire and place it on the wall. If you see there's a floor cuts in the middle, then you're good. Delete the walls and the ceiling. And then paint the floor and make it 3x7. You can choose other paint if you want. It really doesn't matter. Grab the half wall and place it in the front of the car. Grab the median height roof and also place it in the front. Then we need to grab the brush and press 9 to raise it and place it here. Don't let the brush get too close to the car front as it might snap on the wall. If it did happen, just click the undo button. Grab the wheel and also press 9 to raise it to the point you see it's kind of connecting to the stick. The wheel might also snap on the wall, so you can just temporarily move the roof elsewhere. Next, let's assemble the bumper. Press G to make the grid appear, so it's easier to place the bumper to the height we want. Then let's grab two more brushes and connect the stick ends to the bumper. When you're dragging the brushes, it's easier if you just hold the O key when dragging. In this way, it's much easier to move the brushes freely. Try not to let it snap on the wall or we'll have to undo it and start over. Adjust the bumper again and make it look like it's connecting to the sticks. Grab this short half wall and use it to make three partitions. Sometimes the wall paint might fall off. Remember to repaint it, I think it's a bug.
Get the chairs and place them on the cart. Snap this iPad here, so this car has a GPS navigator. Grab the glass roof and also place it in the front. So this front has two roofs stacking on each other. Now it's time to place the tires and the tire beads. Use 9 key to raise the beads two times. It's better to place the tires first as they snap on the car and then you'll know where to place the metal beads. Build a wall here, and I use the ceiling rail from Snowyscape to add a detail here on the top. This part is optional though. Grab the poles and place them here. As the two poles in the front might stick out a little bit, I use two yarn balls from Nifty Knitting to hide them. Build a ceiling for the middle and the back of the car. Then place the last roof. The golf cart is coming together. Place the little mic on the dashboard and adjust the position. You can mount a TV here, but it's totally up to you. Last but not least, check if the game bugged out some wallpaper and remember to add a trim here. And we're all done! This is my way of making a golf cart. Of course, you can customize your own cart. You can use different chairs or wallpaper or whatever. Just have fun with it. Thank you so much for watching and definitely let me know if you have any questions. If you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Stay safe and I'll see you next week. Bye!